Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome to episode 100 and all right, just making sure 147 of the Iron Man series. And please enjoy today's episode. Now I can put this in here. Nice. Feels weird putting a godsword in there, you know? Oh my god, it's this one. Dance in King Black Dragon Slayer. Beware of double agents. I can do this now though. Easy. Black Dragon Hide. Body. Vampires and There we go. Got the next step of the clue. And from now on, I can just store this there. Beautiful. I don't have to risk bringing them to the wilderness again. I accidentally only brought two revitalize, so I had to flick this whole shit. Oh my god! Oh my god, no way, bro. Freaking. What? Oh, dude, that's my third pair of dragon claws. Wow. I mean, that's a good drop, though. Much better than a dragon throwing axe, though. Well, then, I, I guess I risked it for the biscuit for a nice pair of dragon claws for the third time. Three Dragon Claw solo, eh? But hopefully I can get another drop though. A unique item. You know, we're still looking for that 12 unique. I've been at 11 uniques for months at this point, so... Yeah, this master is from Absol Demon, so I'm gonna check this one out real quick here. Ooh! That's new, for sure. Very nice, dude. Arceus Hood. I like that new item. I have like two hoods now, I think. Yeah, I do. Alright, let's check. Yeah, two, three hoods actually. I need two more of those to complete the hood set. Cool. Oh man, these people think that the superior dark piece could actually just kill you with that magic attack. So I'm just like here sitting, you know, not even caring because I know I'm not going to die by the dark piece special until probably the very end at 1 HP, but you know, I have food. But yeah, that's funny though. Seeing people react to uh, me being super low HP at dark piece just makes my day honestly but you can't pick up somebody else's high uh you know emblems third <laughs> oh my god the third raid of the day oh man dude that's the motivating boys okay let me how many do i have oh my god this is my third one shit oh snap I knew that I was going to get 93 Herbler eventually from one of these raids, but I totally forgot I was going to be like right now though. Not bad, not bad. So if I recall, the last thing I can make is a Super Anti-Venom. Well, I'm basically one level off, so boosting for it will be easier than ever before if I need more. I do have to go back to Zora soon, and that will be nice for that as well. Not bad. Ooh, nice. Freaking Abyssal Whip, dude. Alright, I'm definitely upkeeping my tactical use for definitely forever. <clears throat> oh my god, another whip. Jesus. Yo, that's my second whip this task. Oh my god. Well, I have stocked up on more than I've used already in this past uh, month of Abyssal Tentacles, so good. Dragix did another update to the Blast Furnace today. Well, they expanded two different theme worlds. I think people are still mainly using uh, this one though, with the most people 1000 plus. But the thing that they did though is they basically increased the workers that are, you know, fixing the machines and stuff. So that means they're always going to be working. Before it used to like break and you had to help them sometimes, but now. You don't have to help them at all, there's extra workers. But I think you have to pay a little more, but it's cool. I don't care if you have to pay a little more because you can make your bars so much faster consistently. So it's so totally worth it. I need to make a ton of bars anyways for like darts and whatnot. But uh, right now I gotta go and make a shit ton of diamond bolts because I'm starting to run low. So yeah, if I stock on 7,000, I'll be set for a long time. Just gotta make some adamant bars. All right. There we go. Oh, I need one more enchant. Nice. And that puts me at 8k. I reckon I definitely have enough diamond bolts for this summer's grind. For sure. Oh, Abyssal Whip. Nice, man. Right before the end of the task. 
Oh man, that's such a nice drop, dude. Well, that's three whips and two tasks. Yes, here's another one. This is my third one today. All right, third Abyssal Demon Superior. This task. Here we go. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! I got it! Yo! I got it! Yes! Oh my god! It was not a gem! Woo! Oh my god, dude. What a fucking grind that was. Oh my god. 186 superiors. Oh my goodness, dude. Almost 22 million slayer XP. Starting off at 14 million, so almost 8 mil XP grind for the MB hard. It took me a while to figure that out. That was a hard because, yeah, there was just so much shit on the ground, but. Yes! Oh man, I'm so glad I got one of these out of the way. Oh, that's a super huge RNG grind. I don't even know why I set myself to do this gold, man, because it, honestly, it's, it's almost as bad as the Fistage grind in terms of like the RNG-ness. It may be worse. Who knows? It's over, dude. It is. I think I'm going to go to Zora right now. I think that was uh, the main thing I was going to be using the MP Heart for. Definitely going to notice a huge difference at Zora, though, because I got extra damage with the Trident. And yeah, it's a good time because I am running a little low on the scales. So now is the best time to go and just bang out on some Zora right now. Use this bad boy, you know? It's been so long, dude. Alright, anyways, let's put the Imbue Heart next to all the sexy mage gear. I don't have to use magic potions. Right. So I guess magic potions will be dead content. I'll just sit there in my bank from now on because I got the Imbue Heart. It's a great thing that the Preserve Prayer got updated a while ago, so I should be able to extend the uh, Imbue Heart stats a lot longer than before, so that's really nice. 39! Bro, I just hit a 39! Oh my god, dude, that's insane. That is god tier damage with the Trident, dude, add Zora. Nice! First ray of the day- OH MY GOD! Are you serious? Bro, I just got a Dragon Harpoon like two days ago. Oh, fuck, man. Yo, I'm I'm not that mad though, because I got him beat hard today, but like... Are you serious? Yo. Damn, dude, the placeholders. Look at this shit. Man, they just match so well together. Four Harpoons, four freaking... Throne Axes, like... Man, dude, what a day today, bro. I got the best drops and the best troll drops on one day, bro. I I don't know what to say, yo. This is great. It's great in a way. Kill this guy real quick. Yeah, you're dead. Okay, last raid of the day. Nothing. But I'm ending at 750, though. It's nice. Wow, look at all those zeros, man. I'm aesthetically pleased. But, oh, of course. Surprise, Torn Prayer Scroll. Thank you. Alright guys, so somebody uh, has found the lucky impling. We got it. Thank you. Wasted pixels. So I have been uh, catching quite a bit of them. I haven't opened them up though because if uh, you didn't know, right now lucky implings average drops are really bad. You don't always get access to the treasure trail uh, table. So yeah, you can get a lot of really bad ones. But I'll show you my bank right now how many I have because I'm basically waiting for Jagus to one day update it so that the Implings only get access to the treasure trail table. Because I think that's only fair since this is so rare and yeah like for it to give shit drops most of the time is pretty bad. So right now I have 14 saved up. If Jagus ever update these lucky Implings then I'll open all these up at once and I will give credit to all the people that helped me find them. So. So guys, one of the biggest RNG goals that I've set this summer is now completed two-thirds of the way through my summer break, so I still have a solid month left. So I was either spending most of my time this summer doing Slayer or doing Raids. So I don't have to do Slayer anymore, at least for a long time. Um, I think I might do a little bit of Slayer though, just to test out the new Gargoyle boss that's coming out. If you haven't heard about it, uh, then go into the RuneScape old school runescape uh, homepage and check that out but it's nothing too crazy but yeah i just want to see what it's like 
there is still something like an eternal gem to get but like fuck that dude that gem is not worth the time i could spend 30 minutes making freaking slayer rings and i'll have enough slayer ring teleports for like the rest of my life so definitely not doing that because slayer is done now the time i normally would be spending doing slayer is pretty much free for anything and i still have raids grind to do but i don't think i'm gonna spend more time doing raids because i already think i am investing enough time doing raids a day and yeah i just don't want to burn out you know doing too much raids a day so i'm capped on raids already so i have that extra free time what do i want to do with that free time i think i might go for some uh, pretty ambitious skill and grind i'm not sure yet if i am going to be dead set on this goal but I was planning on getting 99 construction so I haven't done any like super crazy skilling grinds in recent times like I think the last big skilling grind I did was going for the 93 craft you know to get my torture but I think this one is definitely way more ambitious 99 construction iron man like that's crazy and it's simple the reason why I want it is because the construction cape is actually pretty damn nice unlimited teleports to your house so that's amazing i could see that being super useful as zora uh, especially corp any type of pvm where i need a teleport and besides pvm i can use it just to teleport around the whole world anytime i want going to my house is super important so the 99 construction grind is not set in stone yet because i still need quite a bit of time to uh, think about it you know see if i can actually realistically get it done in the summer but once i you know figure out the plan i will let you guys know hopefully by the next episode i will be wrapping up today's video here guys thank you guys so much for watching the video and i really hope you guys enjoyed today's super cringy reaction based video now that i looked back and you know checked out the clips oh man this shit was super cringy but anyways i will see you guys soon with another video hopefully in a few days if not, that just means I'm struggling to get clips. But if you are new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the progress of this Iron Man, then feel free to subscribe to this channel. That way you'll know exactly when the next video will be out. But other than that, I hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.